Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Stephanie. I collect all things Disney, Pokemon, and Sanrio. And in today's video, oh wait, guess what day it is? Hit me up Wednesday. <laughs> my girls and I created this day for anyone that wants to showcase their pins or show a certain pin collection, anything. Um, anybody is welcome. It is so cool seeing all the new channels that I've never seen personally and i just love it we're just having fun here you guys ah my chain was like stuck okay so today we're gonna do aerial pins it's kind of a mixture of fantasy and license or how they like to call them authentic which i don't know why it's authentic because fantasy pins are authentic nobody it's actually harder to dupe a fantasy pin but i guess whatever you know what i mean it's a license all right don't come for me i'm just kidding so yeah you guys let's get to the video i am gonna start out with pinapalooza now i do have this one in the gold and i felt like i needed the silver um the silver does have glitter on her tail and um the trimming i think it's a little bit more pastel -y than the gold one but this pin is just so pretty I love Frank's pin from Pinapalooza. He did a fantastic job. I don't know if he's designing this or if Disney is and he's just buying the art. I'm not sure how it works. Um, but yeah, it, it is just so pretty. I felt like I needed both. So I got both. And I've got this one on sale the beginning of January, guys. I am trying to get these pins out in my board. So pretty, I love her face. She looks so delicate, her little hands, everything. Her tail has the glitter in it. So pretty. I love this one more than the gold in person, but I mean, I needed both, so I have both. I did get one more from Pinapalooza, and it, it's this one. And the one I just showed, I believe they were limited 300. This one is also limited 300, and it is just so pretty. Her tail is glitter. Um, not her fin, but her actual tail is glitter. And then the little clams as flowers. Or maybe it's, um, what do you call it? Sea, not coral, but I forget what the other word is. Um, but it's just so pretty. Her hair, her position. It is a smaller pin, which I love. I like to have like filler pins, a mixture of different sizes, colors, and her pin board. But yeah she's getting filled up my aerial pin board is already filled up so i am gonna have to start a fantasy pin board and have my authentic in one and my fantasies in another but that's it you guys and i didn't take the other one out of the back card because i'm sure you guys have seen it before um she did come out last year and everyone got her so this is the back of it it is um it doesn't say like limited or anything like that it just has like the disney logo it, it's just gold it doesn't have anything and then it has like the two posts which is awesome even though it's a small pen okay so are those the only ones that i had licensed oh i showed them in the before the pin me up wednesday before all right so the rest of all these pins are fantasy pins and we are gonna start with happiest place on earth i believe it's chris pins and i heard of them from shay and diera also told me about them you guys me and diera together are double trouble in their lives i kind of went a little bit crazy this time with her fantasy pins but they also have exclusive pins and so I purchased a few of those too. And then I purchased, I believe two on the live. So this is one of the ones that I purchased on the live. I will leave their website linked in the bottom in case you guys want to um, check them out. But this is the scene when she's singing part of the world. Another iconic scene. She is just so pretty. You guys, I need a card. I need a back card. I'm not a card. I need a board, a backboard. I'm gonna order one. That's it, I'm ordering one. Um, but yeah, this is the iconic thing when she's singing part of your world. 
and it is from Dingle Hopper. Um, and this I did purchase in one of their lives, like I mentioned earlier. And it's a whole bunch of seashells in the back. So pretty. This sold, sold, sold. So that's one of their lives. Another one that I got from their lives is this one that I do know. This is actually my first and my only. I do know um, the maker of this pin or the creator. I don't know how you say it. Um, it's DBG designed by Jen. Oh, her pins, her profiles are fantastic. They also are very expensive. So I do not, um, and it's her and the artwork. I guess she has a partner when she does these pins. Um, his name is George Groff or Gra. I, I can't remember, but it's a Patreon exclusive. I know I've mentioned to you guys in my other Aerial Fantasy pin, they have like Patreons that you can join to see what's coming up. And also they make exclusive pins for their Patreon members. So this is one of them. And her face, her mouth, her eyes, her nose, her brows is spot on. Her bow, there's like some glitter in her hair. It is just so pretty. This background right here of that neutral color is marbled so pretty so pretty i would love to collect more of these pins i think this one's considered a mini because the other pins are a lot larger her profile pins but like i said they are very expensive They're, her pins i've seen some of them go for like 800 dollars, 500 in the second market so yeah i mean i wish i could join her patreon but i'm not sure if i would like to do that because you're paying like a member monthly um, and then on top of that, you're paying for the pins. So I don't know. I did get that one in the live, um, Chris's live, which is happiest place on earth. And now they do have exclusives and I had to get a few of them cause they're just so pretty. And this is one of them. Sorry. This is one of them. It's Ariel and like a mermaid gown. And, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Now this one, you can, it's a, it could be a pin on pin but i just grabbed her because the other background is a little bit like large and i have so many large pins so i decided just to get her the topper i think it's what they call it and this is what it looks like in the back i believe it's called mystic profile i don't know if you can see that and it's a le of 20. yeah you can't really see that but yeah it's a le of 20 and it's not so you can't even feel the emboss but i'm sure it's like edged but yes this is just so pretty the marble green in the background her dress is like sparkly like the top part of the dress is sparkly and then the bottom part is like stunning like the mermaid i forget what they call it the tail of the dress is just portraying i don't know the flower in her head so pretty i'm so happy that i have this um, from them another exclusive that they have is you guys when I saw this pen I lost my mind and it is Ariel with the water Pokemon so pretty it's the best of both worlds I do have the lounge fly to this one I believe it was a 707 exclusive and then you have um, I forget her name because she's from the new gen I know she's a mermaid so many pokemons that i forget their name um luminous or something like that with an l but yeah you guys she's just so pretty what when i saw this pin and it's called pokini pokini i think is what they call them pokini i guess for license purposes or copyright purposes and it's a le65 but you guys i lost my mind i was like yes ma'am and then it's so cute because she has a pokemon trainer outfit like it's a fusion of her dress the blue dress mixed with a pokemon trainer which they did so good and they did so good on her face it's just so pretty and then it says gym leader ariel so cute because that's what they are they're leaders i don't know though it's a whole thing in the game but yeah, it is just so pretty. I wish you guys there. I think that's a better picture of the pit. 
so pretty. I'm so happy. The next one I did purchase on Macari. And I mean, the girl threw it on with one of my pink Ariel pins that I've showed before. She threw this one in for $20. And she did advise me that it has a little bit of scratches and stuff like that, which I'm like totally fine for $20 with these fantasy pins and it's Ariel and it is a pin on pin. The scratches on it are not too bad. It's not scratched up. I think it's just the gold then in lay right over the edge or something this is a pin on pin and it's from colors of the wind it's a le 75 and you see the little fishes on her hair it's just so pretty the flowers her eyes so pretty and here you go now i've seen this one you can see colors of the wind l 75 so this one i have seen in mulan i've seen in I want to say what's the other pocahontas um i think snow white or no but i know definitely mulan I didn't get that. I did try. there's a version of mulan and pocahontas in this so this is so pretty and they do have a pink hair variant but you guys i can afford i can't afford it right now at the moment but i will try to add later on in my collection because i do have a seller that i purchased one of these pins from that has it available but i can't I can't really, I don't know. I just know that it's like double layered. You can see, um, and she did tell me it was like a pin on pin, but I don't know how that works. So yes, that is so pretty with her messy hair. Oh, love it, love it. And it reminds me of me as a child. For some reason, my hair was never, I mean, little kids like to play outside. They don't like to brush their hair. I mean, basically that's what I look like as a child, barefoot with my hair like that, running around on the streets with my friends. So another pin that my husband did purchase for me and it was a Valentine's gift as well. And it is uh, the Little Mermaid. It's the whole family here. You got the whole team. You have Ursula, you have Triton, Eric, um, Jetson, and oh, I can't remember his name. Um, Max, Sebastian, Flounder. I love this pen. It is so heavy. It is super heavy. Look at the back card. I have seen these pins in Beauty and the Beast. I've seen them in um, Beauty and the Beast and I think Snow White, if I'm not mistaken. But they are from Enchanted Pins. I have seen a few people collect Enchanted Pins from this um, creator. But um, when I seen this, and so cheap. I'm like, is there anything wrong with it? She's like, I will upload more pictures. Um, let me know, you know, if you want to see any anything additional. Now, Ursula's color is a little more pinker than purple, but everyone's faces is nice. Oh, and I just saw Scuttle up there. Um, but yeah, it's Flotsam and Jetsam. I can't, guys, I can't remember. My brain is just... But yeah, it's a, it's a large pin, so it's kind of hard for me to show you guys. Um, it's not that small, but yeah, there you go. You can see them. And then it has a big shell, blue little mermaid. It is just so pretty. It is like a pin on pin. It's just so pretty. I'm so happy that I did purchase this. All right, I saved the best for last. My first pins by Wafa has some of the gorgeous, gorgeous pins ever. Like fantasy pins. I'm sorry, they only sell fantasy pins. But their fantasy pins are, they're my favorite, some of my favorite fantasy pins out there. I am planning on getting a couple of more fantasy pins by them. They're just so expensive, 80 to 100 depending, but their size is huge. And now this is more of an anime style, which I'm sort of, eh, but this one looks more like Ariel. It's not like a complete different person. You just know it's Ariel because of the tail. No, this one you can tell it's Ariel, but it's a little bit more animated. I don't know if that makes sense. But look at her bow is glitter. The background is so pretty. This part of the dress is glitter as well. And this one, I think you could have just bought her, but I did purchase this on Macari. I, I had to get this pin. It's super large. Like as you can see my hand and the pin. I think it's like bigger than my hand but 
Oh no, the back is bent. I'm gonna have to have my husband fix that because the back posts are bent. Um, no wonder she had it for a little bit cheaper, but it's fine because I believe they sold out of the A grade and she did have a card that said a grade of authentication and this is a limited of 85 as you can see and this is what the back looks like pins by wafa like i said earlier it has two pins i think for the way this pin as you can see it's a little bent well actually not a little a lot and then you see it's like pin on pin but i mean i don't know i love this pen of of Ariel and she does Tiana. I've seen Tiana, Belle, and Rapunzel, but she is a fantastic pin maker. The little flowers and the flowers like also drape with the sun, um, not the sun, the sky in the back, the night sky, and I think you could see some water back there. So stunning. And this pin is also super heavy. It's actually heavier than this one. It's well then again it's a lot bigger so but yes i love this i can't wait to get more pins from this maker oh, just love this i love her eyes her lips her lashes the flush in her cheeks so pretty and i mean some of these some of their pins are a little bit risky for my taste but a lot of them are very delicate and soft and appropriate um but yeah love them that is my aerial fantasy pins if you want to join pin me up wednesday it's up to you guys and the community i love all of you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me your support is always appreciated and if you're new i hope you stick around for a little bit and hang out with me see you on the next video bye